Hi everybody, I'm Chris Petrie. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for stopping by my channel here. We're doing watercolor art 24-7. Um, we're actually uh, going to do a, a delightful painting today. We're going to use some simple um, subject matter. We'll do a still life. We have a coffee cup here. Um, I have a um, plastic fruit, which is an orange. Uh, styrofoam. So you can use real uh, subject matter. You can. I have uh, a large amount of um, faux fruit. Um, if you look up faux fruit online, you can find um, really all kinds of great. Uh, you know, every apples, oranges, grapes. Um, you know, a, uh, you name it. Uh, pears and uh, different style apples, green apples. You know, Granny Smith apples. Red Delicious Apples, every kind of fruit and vegetable you can imagine. Um, styrofoam, this looks very real, very convincing. They have a really beautiful detail, the way they created these. So you can, you can find some really good quality um, faux fruit. And what's nice about this is you can put it into a, um, a bag or a, a duffel bag and bring it anywhere you want and practice watercolor and you can also um, leave it in the studio. You don't have to worry about uh, anything like um, bugs or things going rot, you know, rotting or anything like that. You know, I leave my faux fruit in my studio, and um, I have everything: limes, lemons, you name it. Like I said, all, all you know, as much as they've made uh, every kind of faux fruit and vegetable you can, you know you can imagine. So I'm going to use just a simple orange. I'm going to use a simple white um, coffee cup. I'll use also a, a, a pitcher. Um, maybe we'll, we'll create, maybe I'll make a pitcher, you know, just like for, um, sometimes I'll just recall, I have an, I have a numerous amount of pitchers, uh, clear glass pitchers for flowers. I have um, uh, some, I have a couple white pitchers for flowers. So I have all different kinds of um, still life um, things in, in my studio that I use and also sometimes I'll just draw from memory and um, maybe we'll do that here for some of our items but again you know be creative set up a couple little still life uh, setting setups for yourself and and just practice on those and here we're gonna we'll, we'll do that we'll set up a nice uh, a cross ring I'm just gonna set up a little few things I'm gonna take this here and we're gonna tape this down let's tape down our paper our watercolor paper tape down our palette okay now what I'll do is I'll tape this down first here And it's always good to tape down uh, our watercolor paper and then tape tape off our sections that we want to this way when we're done with our exercises and our compositions we can just take the tape off and we have a finished painting right there waiting you know waiting to put into a scrapbook or we can put it on the wall and take you know uh, look at it for a few weeks or so and kind of critique it ourselves that's always good to do you know you take your your paintings and you hang them up in your house or give them away you know you give them away sometimes too maybe you're going to sell them a few times here and there to friends or um you know gallery shows whatever you do but as an artist uh, it's always good to take your work and you know display it in your your studio in your house and and you can learn from it and say I like that I like this I like that other thing I did there and maybe I'd like to do this different next time I think I could make it look better in this section or that section or so forth so always um, try to improve a little bit each time and also enjoy the victories that you have when you're painting so here let's go in and we'll do a just a simple composition just so we can get some cool ideas here of so I think I'll so 
So here I'm doing a pitcher, and then I'm going to do my coffee cup, and the saucer, and I'm going to come around this way. And And we'll do our orange here. So this is just a um, fun composition. We're trying to um, and maybe we'll have a little bit of fun design on this. We'll do some blue blue ornamentation on this. And we'll do some more uh, design here too. Some uh, do some more ornamentation on our just lightly here, I'm going to do a very light, um, just so I remember to have some uh, ornamentation and interesting uh, details on our uh, vase here, our white vase. In this exercise, we should keep things loose, keep things fun. Uh, maybe we'll have We'll pretend there's a little plant over top, over top of this here, some flowers. Maybe there's a, a larger vase over here and there's some, some leaves and things here. So we'll just make an indication of that. Okay, that, that looks good. And again here we're having fun, we're just going to mix some colors and have a good time here. We're not worried too much about is this a, you know, award winning, uh, you know, painting or anything like that. We're just having fun. We're going to practice the fundamentals of watercolor right now. So right now we just did our contour drawing. We went in, we looked at our subject matter. It could be from a book, from a picture. You might set up your um, still life with some, some cups and saucers and so forth and fruit you can use real fruit you can buy faux fruit um, and vegetables and all kinds of interesting things you could if you don't like those type of things you can set up things that you have around the house that you like maybe um, you name it anything kitchen items um, some of uh, favorite um, heirlooms things like that anything that you want you can just really set them up and, and draw them and paint them so here I'm just doing a nice loose uh, representation of coffee cup and a an orange and a, a white vase. We're going to do some blue ornamentation on this. And there's maybe a little um, some leaves here. And let's see how we can uh, just make this fun. Alright, I'll get my brushes here. Okay, and I have uh, fresh clean water. Okay, let's uh, get right in and we'll do some of the darks. Let's take some of that blue our ornamentation that is French ultramarine blue mixed with a little burnt umber maybe a little burnt sienna okay and maybe we'll blot out a little bit there and maybe we'll go in with some sap green and some olive green. And we'll get a little bit of that leaf uh, shape in there. This is fun. Look at this. How easy is that? This is just absolute fun with colors. And all we did was really set down a nice little bit of um, contour drawing. Nothing fancy. And now we're letting our... Uh, Paints do the fun, the work. A little splashing. 
loosen things up, splash a little bit, have fun, don't worry too much about how perfect it looks. We're having an enjoyable time here. All right, so we have uh, a little bit of blue for our ornament here, a nice little stripe going along the top of the vase. Let's do some cobalt blue. And just a little flicking around of the brush to pretend we know what we're doing. There we go. Another great little bit of design. And how about here? Maybe a little bit of uh, mineral violet. We'll go over here. Mineral, mineral violet. Purple. Mixed in with a little cobalt blue. Change up the color a little bit. There we go. Another little flick of some detail. And we got it. There we go. And a little more here. Maybe some more in detail on this uh, beautiful vase here. And again, we'll go right into the French Ultramarine Blue, Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna. And let's do a little... Okay, now... We'll use our uh, needlepoint brush. And we'll even, we'll even get into some more fine detail. Even This is pretty fine detail right here, but let's get even to some additional fine detail. Let's uh, Perfect. Okay, now let's take a little bit of that green that we have mixed here and a little bit of the blue and purple over here and let's do some shadowing. Maybe a little cerulean blue too. A little bit of uh, yellow ochre too. Mix in a little bit of warm. Okay, now we're doing uh, negative shape painting. We're taking this area here and we're accentuating the light on this side of the vase over here. So the light's coming from here. If we want to make sure, we just take a light insignia like that with a light bulb. And we say the light's coming from here. A little bit, a little more of uh, yellow ochre, just to uh, warm up that cool green and blue that we were using. Okay, now we're at the bottom of the vase, which is in shadow. The light is catching this side of the vase and the. Um, So we'll, we'll, let, we'll let that be like that. There we go. Um, now to make sure that we accentuate the light on this side of the vase, we will put a little bit of green and blue over here. Maybe a little mineral violet. Maybe we'll just want, we'll just lightly fade this out over here. But this is good. Make sure we do a little bit of a darker dark over here again. 
negative shape painting or painting around the subject to make it appear. So if we didn't paint this tonal value, this little darker darker over here on this side of the vase, then that part of the vase would not look um, as if it's there. So we want to make sure we we paint negative shape painting to keep our uh, our subject matter looking real. Let's do our uh, orange. Ah, oh, fire in that beautiful orange. Cadmium orange. How, how does that look? That looks great. Let's add a little cadmium red to the bottom section here of that cadmium orange. And some yellow ochre. And then as we go up, let's fade, fade it a little bit and make it lighter up here. There we go. A little bit lighter up here. Even if you have to use the tissue and lighten it up a little bit on the top of the orange. Perfect. A little more cadmium red in the bottom. And then we can mix that on. We use a dry brush. We take our cleaner brush, dry it off on the tissue. And then we can take some straight paint right out of the paint, right out of the palette. And go right into the painting. Don't even worry about mixing it onto the palette. Just go straight into the palette and right into the paint, onto the painting. And just dance the brush around a little bit here and there. Rinse off the brush again, dry it really well with some tissue, and then you can just fit, you know, move the paint around a little bit. Rinse off the brush again, dry it again with no paint, no water, and then just And then you get a nice sense of light on the top of the orange. Plenty of darker tonal value on the shadow area here. It's catching, the orange is catching more light on top. And then let's go in, we'll do a little bit of uh, shadowing on our coffee cup. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll use a little bit of a lizard and crimson here in cadmium red. Maybe we'll just do some exciting red over here. Sometimes we don't always have to stick to the what we see in front of us. We can add different things to make it look better. That's what I'm doing here. I'm adding orange and red over here a little bit just to make things look better. And I'll go in with some uh, French ultramarine blue again, a little bit of green, a little bit of shadowing under there. Let's get back into some of the uh, the greens up here. Let's. Uh, change our color a little bit, add a little more burnt umber, or add some burnt umber to that uh, green, which would be sap green and olive green, just to give us a little bit of a different look. Keep things different, big leaf, small leaf. I was noticing my drawing, I was, everything was looking the same size, all the leaves here were looking the same size, I don't, that's not a good look. 
I think it's better to change things around a little bit, have things look different, non-symmetrical. So I had one larger leaf and one smaller one. And we'll put a little more green there. And some cerulean blue with some of that green. Then we can go into some uh, yellow ochre. Then we can go back, we'll get our, we'll pick up our needlepoint brush, some raw umber and some of that yellow ochre, and dance the brush around a little bit, just to get a little variety here. Then we'll go in and we'll <clears throat> get some more uh, sap green. And again, negative shape painting. I'm going to paint around that handle a little bit. And just splash and And I'll paint in that edge of this vase here. Maybe a shadow over here a little bit. Another little splash over here. And maybe some green over here just to balance things. So I'll put some green over here. All right, that is it. That is how simple we can have things in watercolor. Just taking a couple simple things like a coffee cup, an orange, you could pick, you know, lemons, limes, any kind of fruit, vegetable you like. You maybe put down a pitcher, maybe some leaves, some shapes of leaf forms next to it. You don't necessarily have to draw a bouquet of flowers here. You could just put something nearby just to, so you have a feeling of like, this is near a bouquet of flowers or some uh, a plant, some potted plants. Um, you can expand this idea, make it a full painting, and then add in a potted plant or whatever you would like. But I think the key is it's really fun in watercolor to just do small parts of things. And once you practice small parts of things a lot, then you're sort of already ready to do it in a larger painting. Let's say if you want to make a large painting to frame or to bring to a gallery, if you're maybe going to have a gallery show or if you have um, uh, someone commissions you to do a painting for them and they see your work and love it and they want you to paint a, a painting for them they, and they ask you if you can make it, uh, you know, 18 by 24. So if we're always working in smaller format, that can be an issue. But if we paint our smaller format smaller parts of the larger hole, then we can take this idea, add a potted plant to it within a larger painting, and then we have our painting. A coffee cup, a vase, a couple pieces of fruit, and a potted plant. We've already painted this, so now all we have to do is practice doing the potted plant a few times, let's say, and then we can make a larger format, a larger painting, and then we have it. Here I think the only thing I would add is maybe just a little
maybe a little color just over the okay all right I hope we had fun here and this is again you'll always hear me say it have fun with your watercolors enjoy let's work on small comps and then eventually doing the bigger uh, larger paintings is no problem and if we peel off our tape this makes a perfect uh, small composition to pin up on our wall next to our desk where we work our studio, our office maybe, we work in the office and we want to put up a small painting. Maybe people come by, they love it, they want one too. You can create a couple of these, make, you know, make prints of them or make a couple for our friends at work. Okay, again, let's uh, see if we could... Uh, as you can see, nothing too fancy, really just... Uh, Very loose, very free, getting the basic shapes drawn in and then just, you know, putting in the color and really we used a lot of negative shape painting here. We painted around this white vase quite a bit. The top, around the handle, inside of the handle. So we did a lot of negative shape painting here, painting around an object to make it appear. And as well over here on this side of the vase, we added that paint here to make this side of the vase accentuate that so that we can see that clearly and lots of good color and fresh color and we had a lot of fun doing it all right everyone we'll see you on the next video bye bye